Less than 10 minutes to go and we're continuing our official program. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The semi-finals to classification, five to eight. Opava versus Oldenburg here, Ola Gabor Arena, Debrecen, Hungary. Debrecen, Hungary's second largest city. The guys are on the court just warming up, preparing for the battle. Team Tenerife is waiting for its opponent, as you can see. It was a confident win against uh, Nimburg, uh, 92-66. And another Czech team, uh, Opava, is uh, facing against Team Oldenburg. Both teams has its first season here in the Youth Basketball Champions League. They entered the tournament this year, so with less experience, but if we just uh, running through their results we can see that it's two very compact very strong well equipped well qualified team let's start with the opawa they were in the group stage with the porsche ludwigsburg and the tofash bursa last year's runner-up and first they started with a win against the German team, the Ludwigsburg, beating them 60-55 and then suffered a loss against the Tofas Bursa, one of the semi-finalist team. It was an 88-33 loss against the Turkish team. And now they are waiting for the... they could fight for the fifth place. On the other side, the Oldenburg team from Germany also started with a 77-56 win against the Galatasaray and the tricky part is coming just right now after it because they suffered they got lost against the Hapoel Jerusalem 73-69 so just four points but uh, they could have qualified to the semi-final if the Galatasaray could not win the Hapoel Jerusalem at least with 39 points but they did it Galata won over 40 points and pushed the Oldenburg down to the second place as a result now they are in the uh, in, they are here right now and uh, fight for the fifth to the eighth place at the team Oldenburg and the Galata Sarai qualified to the semi-final now our friend, my colleague, Christoph uh, Barani, starting the public, uh, the, our official public announcer, starts the presentation. Let's listen his voice and after continuing the facts and figures about the teams. Here we go again. You guys are just shaking each other's hands and in five minutes we are starting the game. Oh, and there's a happy birthday music, so it is 
Now white papers in the hands and the referees also because this is the international day of sport for development and peace. The teams are joining to this uh, even to this program supporting and this smile, this uh, white paper demonstrating the support of it. Opawa with yellow, by the way, and with blue jerseys, Team Oldenburg, Germany. So as I mentioned, Oldenburg was a bit unlucky, but uh, the guys were very fair because they congratulated to the teams of Galata after beating, or we can say killing the Hapoel Jerusalem. It was a fair game. And now, both teams are fighting for the fifth place. They are brand new here, so this is a, this can be a fairy tale, of course, to, to get the fifth or maybe the sixth place here in Debrecen. And now with 13 teams, some big names in the Oldenburg. It's worth watching the Kladic brothers. Jordi and Lazar. And also Simon Kolhoff, referees Peter Prox, Hungary, and by Seja, Senegal, and Arian Yamshiri. Iran. And let's see the starting fives. Oldenburg, Johan Helwig, Lazar Klaric, Colin Schröder, Smoka Paul Kolhoff, and Miran Evin. The starting five of the head coach, the Greek head coach, Demetrios Polychroniadis. Here we have. He's gathering his mates, his players, and lineup for Opava. Pavel Cudek, Jan Przecetel, Franciszek Harajin, David Motichka, and Pavel Kastil. Team Opava is coached by David Zach. These are the starting lineups, and we're waiting for, the, of course, the teams on the court. The last instructions and then we can start the game. The bet is to qualify to the fifth place game. Lenovo Tenerife is waiting for its opponent. From Czechia, Opava or from Germany, Oldenburg.
Two motivated teams. And let's see. The tip off. Yellow jersey, Team Opava. On the other side, Team Opava. One of the most highlighted players is David Motička and also Pavel Cudek, the son of the club legend and senior team head coach Petr Cudek, who is also the assistant coach of the national team. Tip off won by the Germans, so the first attack goes to Oldenburg. Sudek. No score, but Arazin with the Castil. Sudek. Time to shoot. And the rebound. Evin. Lost the ball. It's too long for Lazar Klaric. Two deck. Zetechtel. No score by. Missed by Motička, then Cudek, nice cut, and the first point goes to Opava. Lazar Klaric, like a tank inside, in the paint. Open wide for a triple, no triple. The rebound, and two shots. Motička. Executed <laughs> to the opponent. The substitution very fast. Helvig is on the line, first is in. Second is out. Motička with the rebound. No possession then Opava. Sudek. Motička. Oh, what a floater that was. 4-1. Evin. Back to Evin. Claridge with the screen. Claridge. One step, two step block. Castil. Two deck. No foul. One by one. Kolhoff missed the chance. This the highlight. It was a good defense by number 10, Jan Rzecechtel. Favorite name for the commentators, if you are not from Czech Republic. From the corner, wow, the triple that was Helvig. Motička. Answer. Maybe later on. Nice pass. And Zuma couldn't catch it. Good defense by Timo Pava. 
Rumer is coming. Pass in the ball. Klaric. From the corner once again. Helvig. Seven point. All the seven scored by Helvig. Sudek. Mutička. Crash inside the paint. And out of bounds. Römer tried to skip with the ball. Leander Nzume. <clears throat> the first is short. The second one is in. Six. Kastil defeated Evin. Zuma, Helvig, the two three pointers. And a foul called to Zudek. Rumer. Klaric is approaching to the basket. Klaric and lost the ball. Ball possession till Oldenburg. Klaric, Rümer. Kastil with the rebound. Zudek. Zetechtel, then Zudek. Zetechtel for a triple. Glaric. He touched the ball. Lost. And the foul. First personal foul and first foul committed by number 16, Evin. Triple time! Kastil! Timo Opava is taking the lead. And Zuma. Evin. And Zuma. Nice pass by Klaric and the end by Zuma. 10 9. Zudek. Kashti one by one with Zuma from the corner. Just punch the ring. Klaric, Evin, Rümer, Evin, not long, Klaric, and Motička. Good defense, nice steal by Evin. No score. Ball possession, Oldenburg. Let's 
substitution for both teams. Kolhoff is coming back. And for Opava, Durcok. And also Varish. Klaric leaving the ball. And it's, it can be an easy basket. Motichka. Oh! Klaric. That was a strange situation. Motichka missed this chance. It's, uh, it's a bit blame, let's say. Substitutions and then the possession Opala. Varish. Motichka. Nice defense by Nzume. Evin. Klaric. No score. And then Nzume is coming and helping. It was Georgia Klaric actually. Oh, Kolhoff looked for Schröder. Kolhoff once again, and it's in. Steal Kolhoff once again to Schroeder. Oh, these rings are against the dunks. Here, Schroeder before that Motichka, but Kolhoff is coming and it's now 16 9. Timeout called by Opava. Actually, it wasn't unexpected, because now... Team Opawa could not score for three minutes. The last who shot a triple, it was Pavel Kastil. And the last three minutes, they could not score any point. It's now an 8-0 rush by Team Oldenburg. Kolhoff Schröder, Kolhoff once again, get the rebound, and two shots are coming. 
They wanted to correct the mistake by Schroeder because it was a big chance to earn two points. And it's out by Kohlhoff. Still 16-9. Second is out as well. Varish, then Motichka, <coughs> Arazin. Durcok. Durcok saves the ball for a triple. There was an air ball by Varish. Zume. Good block by Motichka. Varish. Harazin. No triple. And. And what a save that was by Georgia Klaric. Evin, open wide for a triple. No triple, and Zuma plays very useful. Evin. There's a moon ball. Bit long, Motichka with the rebound. It's his uh, fifth rebound. Harazin, all alone. Third team foul to Oldenburg. Committed by Schroeder. Subs for both sides. And František Harazin is on the line to score perhaps two points. First two free throws. The first is in. And also the second. We have some fans, I guess, from the Czech Republic. With yellow t-shirts. Good pass, no score. Then the second one, it's in right now. Stumayer. Kastil, Kasparek. Barczak. Kastil. Zuma, all possession, Opava, foul. For the last, maybe double time, triple time by Georgi Klaric. That means 21 13 after the first 10, uh, 10 minutes. That was an impressive start for, by both teams, but then the second quarter, part of the quarter was more efficient by the Germans.
Tenerife is waiting for its opponent for the fifth place. Free throws 100 uh, person by Opava and just 33 by Oldenburg. see some statistics besides the free throws two points efficiency 35 Opava 43 Oldenburg regarding the three pointers 23 Opava 24 Oldenburg I mentioned already free throws I guess the rebound statistics are not, are not the best. 65 and 50 in two. In 10 minutes, it's impossible. Points from the bench for Oldenburg is 17 at. Uh, It's not the correct. Okay, so let's back to the game because there's something mistake with the statistics. <laughs> Opawa could approach like this, Castile. Fourth point. And the fifth is coming as well. Pavel Kastil, 2015. Lov. Gordia Klaric. Spre. Zoom. Kolhov. Spre for a triple. Down to the bar, uh, to the ring. Varish wants the R, wants the call uh, challenge. And I guess he's right. And there's a challenge. I guess the last person who touched the, the ball was a German player. So let's see. Hey, it's, it's in Zume. Or no, it's Klaric. Georgi Klaric. The ball is pushed away by his hand. As I mentioned, both teams arrived here first time the, they skipped the last season. From the Opawa, David Zach said that it is a great opportunity to receive feedback about the level we are by competing against the best teams in Europe. And uh, we, they expect that their players to show their individual and team talent to a high level. He stated as well, we want to play aggressive defense and up-tempo game. These are the things we need for the next step up into top-level senior basketball, because this is also a channel for the senior team. And in terms of outcome, however, Opova have set performance and the positive re representation as their main goals in Debrecen. He stated, first of all, we want to be proud of the performance. If we win something, that's great, but the most important is to show our best for our club and our country. Zach, coach, explained that. <laughs> it's 
so ball possession Opava. Maybe it's for Václav Varish. It's Václav got two. Just kidding. But our DJ is not thinks for everything. Václav Varys dedicated the song, the Václav. Two deck for a triple. Oh, there's was an air, air ball, but Varys saved it, but it's out. Substitutions number seven, number nine, and number sixteen to Oldenburg. Lazar Klaric, the captain, and Schröder, and also Mran Erwin. And also the other captain on the other side, David Motichka, is on the court again. Klaric. Erwin. Offensive rebound. Erwin. Schröder. Erwin. Klaric. Scores and one extra goes to Oldenburg. Lazar Klaric. Substitution. Team Opava. Jan Przecechtel. Oh, it's in and out. Kastil. Long pass. Stopped by Teodoru. From the corner, no score. Kolhoff. Schröder, Evin. What a fake that was, but the end did not finish well. Zudek. Kastil, Motička, Doru. Oh, it was impossible to stop. And grab it. Sudek is very angry. And perhaps his father too, if he is watching us. Kolhov, Evin, Kolhov. Impressive seven point lead. Schroeder is moving away. Jordi Klaric. Have been nice fadeaway jump shot. Motička stealing the ball. Klaric once again to his brother, Lazar Klaric. Every nice pass, nice movement, nice finish. Zudek. Motička. No foul, and it's a score. The two captains facing each other. And it's a timeout, the second timeout for Opava. Because now it's an 11 point lead, first time during the match. Over 10. Once Oldenburg had a 9 0 rush, and now they are in the same positive flow. Uh, it was a 
2015 and now it's a 6-0 rush once again from the start in the last three minutes six points by Oldenburg and just two scored by Opava Foul and the for Schroeder. This is the second one. But this was for not for Schroeder, for Evin. Kastil. Zetechtel. Zudek. No free. Evin. Azar Klaric defended. Arazin. Kastil all alone. He did it. And one extra. Kastil now with five points. Till now, two free throws and both were good. And it's an unsportsmanlike foul against 16. So it's Evin. Head coach of Oldenburg, Poli Kroniadis, wants to call a challenge. So now it's a challenge, once again. So let's say some words about the Oldenburg. Opponent team. So some words about the Oldenburg, uh, it's also the first time here in the Youth Basketball Champions League. The EV Baskets Oldenburg uh, senior team completed the first ever campaign in the Basketball Champions League this season. They were German winners in 20, 2009 and also cup winners in 2015. Head coach of the team, Demetrios Polichroniadis, said that for this team it's our first time playing an international competition and that's a big thing for us. We are in the quarterfinals of the German Championship and under 19 level and this will be very high level preparation for that. And of course, a great experience to the whole team. He said, this team is one of the best ever years in, the, in our program, so I think we want to complete, to finish as high as possible. So we, they are fully motivated and they, are in, they can be in a, with a good script on the fifth place. Now the first step is to beat the Opava and then win against the Tenerife. And they can be, I guess, satisfied at all.
So let's see what is the decision. So all remain in the same way. And ball possession also to Opava. Six points lead still and Jan Pretechtel left the ball. Schroeder with a fast break and he scores. Kastil. Pretechtel. And almost an alley-oop. For the rebound, Harazin. Oh, it was almost uh, traveling. Kolhoff. No basket. Motichka. Two deck. Two deck. Looking for a mate to help. Asking for a screen. Kastil, nice fake. Two shots, and this is the fifth personal foul for called for Oldenburg. Pavel Kastil. He's on the line. Still 100% free per free. And forces out, sure there with the rebound. Spray. Rumer. Second team foul, the second personal foul for Sulek. Kladic out. Now arguing with the referee and good steal by Schroeder. Kladic, Schroeder is arriving, missed the chance. And then giving the ball to Harazin, who leaves it. Kastil is right there and correcting the mistake. Pavel Kastil, 10 points. The only player in the field with 10 or over 10. Kolhoff, Schröder. Schröder. Back to... For a triple! Kolhoff. Substitutions and still seven points lead to Oldenburg. Motichka. Kastil. Rezechtel. That was long. It's good for Römer. Overtaking Harazin. Zume. Nice movement. And two shots. Going to 
the team Oldenburg. And Zuma is preparing. Already got two uh, free throws, one in, one out, 50%. Cleaning the glasses for more efficiency. Zuma is with, uh, Zuma is with five points. Still with five. And nothing happened, but ball possession. Some positive thing as well to Oldenburg. Rümer. Zume blocked by Recechtel. Harazin. Zudek. Leaving the ball. Rümer. Nice trick behind the back. Kolhoff. Lazar Klaric. Rümer. To Klaric. What a pass that was. Brilliant assist. And Klaric with six points. Stealing the ball, Klaric again. Lost the chance, Kolhoff saved it. Kolhoff. No basket. How big was it? Kolhoff, Laric, Kasparek is defending against him, but Laric was the stronger. First is out. Second as well. Zuma, Kasparek, Zudek. Two shots for two deck. Arazin out. Rzecechter in. Two deck with two shots. The first is correct. Second is out. Rümer with the rebound. Long pass ahead. Helwig. Rümer. Rümer. Zume. Finish. He finishes it. Ten points lead. And they lost the ball. 
good turnover. Then Zume, Helvig, Laric to deck. Corrects his mistake. Stealing the ball. Got it by Rumer. And there's a foul to two shots and Zume is. Who committed the foul? Second one. Vichaka out and Kastil in. First, second is in four per seven, fifty seven person by Pavel Zudek. Rumer Kolhoff, Kolhoff on his own. Missed it. Kasparek. Barish. Barish. No score. Kolhoff. Zume. Rumer. Zume. Kolhoff once again. Elvig for a triple. There was an, almost an air ball, but getting the ball back. Good rebound. Kolhoff and Zume. And it's in. For the seven, 26. In the last minute in the first half, Castile. Good stealing and Kolhoff finishes. With nine points, Simon Kolhoff, Kasparek, Kastil, Klaric with the rebound. Foul for Barchak. It's like in the judo. 15 foul to uh, to Opava. So it's two shots for Klaric. It's in. Three, four. The first three was out. So now it's first successful from four. And the second is again 41 26, just like the Tenerife Nimburg to the Nimburg after one half, but then Tenerife won it with a massive second half. If it remains like this, this will be strange. Castile. Castile. No score, Motichka either. Klaric, jumbo. So the ball remains. Team Oldenburg. Oh, Klaric is a real fighter. And the timeout.
Eight and a half seconds to go, and it's a massive 15 points lead to Oldenburg. Both teams plays here first time in the history. And if there's nothing changed for the second half, we're going to have a Spanish German fight for the fifth place and uh, Czech domestic derby for the seventh. Kohov is waiting for the ball. Let's see what they. Oh, I guess it wasn't the discussion in the bench. What they did. Kasparek for a double, and it's out, and this is the end of the first half, ladies and gentlemen. Just like the last game we had at the Tenerife and Inburg, that was the same result, almost the same result. No, it was 46-40. Now it's a 41-26 to Team Oldenburg, and in uh, 15 minutes we are coming back. We do hope that we are going to have some good moments and well built attacks and good defense for the second half as well and this is not the over of the fight so at halftime result Opava Oldenburg 26 41 
teams are preparing for the second half after 20 minutes. Opava Oldenburg 26 41. The German team is on the way to qualify to the next next game against the Tenerife, who is waiting for its opponent, and it's a, a 15 point convincing lead by the Oldenburg. But 20 minutes to go, and Team Opava is a well constructed team as well, so everything can happen. Even here in the basketball, we all know that. Let's see the starting players for the second half. It's uh, how I see from the Opava. Tudek. Przecechtel. Motička. Harazin. And Kastil. On the other side, Helvi, Klaric, Kolhov, Römer and Schröder. In the first half, by the Oldenburg side, Kolhov 9, Klaric, Laza Klaric 8, and Zume also 9 points. And Opawa, among the Opawa, Opawa players, Kastil with 11, and Harazim with 8 points, the two top scorers. Two extra to Oldenburg. Nice steal on and an easy basket. Johan Helvig. A steal. Motička. Harazin. Very strong defense by the Germans. Harazin for a triple, and it's in. Kolhoff. Helbig, no answer with a triple. Przecechtel. Harazin, Motička. Nice play, and the triple at all, beyond the arc. Pavel Kastil. Now with 14 points, the best in the field. Rumer, no score. Lazic, it's him. Sorry, Lazic, uh, Lazar Klaric. Just mixing the name. Sudek and the foul by Rume. <laughs> Harazim advancing the ball. To Motička, open space for a score, but no triple at all. And ball possession, Oldenburg. Rumer. Schröder. Nice fake, nice trick. Sudek with the fast break. Castile for a triple. Almost. And the foul. Second team foul to Oldenburg. Committed by Helvig. First personal foul, Castile. Looking for where to pass, Motička. Zetechtel. Two seconds on the shot clock. And ball possession, Oldenburg.
the Czech player wanted to pull the ball to the opponent, but he was already out. Call off, then Kalaric, and there's a jump ball because Kalaric was holding the ball with two hands. Rümer, Schröder, guarded by Motička and Kastil, and a foul again. And the substitution. And Zuma is coming in. So that is talking to Rumer. Kolhoff is right there as well. And Arazin was waiting for the ball. Sudek now. Motička tried to cut in. Good defense. Two on one. No one hurted, defeated Kolhoff. It's another two for Oldenburg. 49-32, Sudek. Oh, there's an air ball. And I guess it wasn't the first by Pavel Sudek. Kolhoff. Rumer. Rumer for a fadeaway shot and the fall arrives. First team foul for the third quarter. Rumer is on the line. First is perfect. It is his first free throw. And the second is out, Motička with the defensive rebound, Kastil and Römer. Hit. Team foul. Substitution number 13, Oldenburg, Bennett Spray. Motička. Kastil. Rezechtel, Kastil, no score. And it's in second time. Kastil once again. Now he's with 16 points, the best in the field. Kalaric. He touched the ball last one, it was Przecechtel. But there's a rebound. Kolhoff. Although it is a nice movement by Helvig. He missed the finish. Harazin. Przecechtel. Motička. Harazin. Beyond the arc. No triple. And Lazar Klaric is on the ground. It's also a personal foul, the fifth one. So it's called for Klaric, not two against Motička. 
Helvig is out, and Georgia Kolaric is in. Two shots for Kastil. It was his sixth free throws and the fifth, which is good. Now, second is out, but Harazim with the rebound. Castile almost left. And it's out. It's a bit unlucky. Call off. It's his fault. He shows it. And there's an offensive. Number 77, Tomas Durcok. Spray. Jordi Klaric. Kolhoff with an offensive rebound. Spray. Almost left the ball. Two shots for Oldenburg. Finn Timon, Stuhlmeier. Finn Timon, Stuhlmeier. Zuma with the ball, Kolhoff, one of the most useful players. Simon Kolhoff. Spray. And it was almost good. Harazin beyond the arc, no triple. Stumeyer with the rebound, spray. <coughs> Zume, spray. Kolhoff, spray. Stumeyer inside, and good block. Harazin. Chelka. He, there was an air ball again. Sixteen points lead to Team Oldenburg. Substitutions. For both sides, but Kohlhoff is remaining. He is about 24 minutes. Blocked. And no foul. Dordia Klaric. Durcok, Vichelka, Zetechtel. Nice cut in and the scores 
First point by Zetechtel. Kolhoff. And sir, yes, here comes the answer. Team Odenburg that doesn't leave the opponent to come closer. Zetechtel. Burcok. Zetechtel once again. Blocked by Sturmeyer. And a nice pass ahead. Georgie Klaric. The gap is increasing and increasing. Minute by minute. For free. Substitutions. Oldenburg. Johan Helvig is coming up. Replacing Enzume. Good defense, but ball possession also still to Opava. Václav Varish. Binder. Kolhoff. Stimmeyer Kolhoff. From the corner. Open space for a triple. Missed by Klaric. But Gewinner. Got it. Kolhoff. Stimmeyer. Kolhoff, nice triple beyond the arc. Missed, and this is the end of the third quarter, and it's 21 point game 58 uh, 37 plus six just in this quarter. And it seems that this game is decided. Odenburg is better in every aspect. is an absolute superstar of this team and he's very very effective with 18 points 9 rebounds Close to the double double. Two assists on the other side. What 
Mladic has scored only two points. So let's see the last quarter. Opava starts. Kastil. Oh. And poor Kasparek. Missed the pass. Kolhoff. Klaric. There was another foul. Some misunderstanding. <clears throat> Barcha. What a block that was by Stumeyer. Kastil. Second is in. Kastil with 17 points. Yes, answered by Odenburg. This is Kaskia's best performance, by the way, against the Tofash, scored 13, just like, just like against the Ludwigsburg. This 17 is his best here in the tournament. What a fast break that was, Klaric and Kolhoff, but then missed it. Harazin. Helweg. Klaric. Nice. And it's out. And blocked. But with a foul, so... Two shots. Number 15, Finn Timon Stumeyer is on the line. First is out. Missed both of them. Barczak. Kasparek. Kastil. Kasparek. Teodoru. They need to shoot. It's in time, but it missed. Laric. Gewinner. Gewinner. Kolhoff, Stülmeier, save the ball, Klaric once again, no triple, and at last, Jorge, uh, Johan Helvig, 11 points. Harazin, all alone, a nice cut in. And score. Kolhoff. Gewinner. Stumeyer. That was a nice movement at all. No foul. Barczak. Number six. 
Johan Helbig with a foul, third one, second team foul at all. Barczak to deck, is coming back. Also, Motichka for a triple. Leon the arc, no. But Gavinner is right there in the best position. Getting back, Gavinner. Nice triple. First point by Gregor Gavinner. The answer by Kastil. Barczak out. Przecież tell in. Twenty one points difference. Six minutes to go. Kolhov, uh, Klaric, for the Klaric. No double. Kastil. Now I guess it's a double double. Zetechtel, it's in. After a long time, Evin is here and scores because she has, uh, he has four fouls. That's why he needed to skip the second, that almost the two quarters. Two middle corners, timeout for Obava. So let's see if there's anybody with a double double. Kolhov, 20 points and the nine rebounds. Waiting for the last one to say he has a double double. And on the other side, Kashti with 17 points and seven rebounds. Turning to the last 5.30 after the timeout. It's Harazin. Zudek. Kastil beyond the arc. No score. Offensive rebound they have. Harazin, Kastil. Nice cut. And a good defense. Good, good defense because no possession, Oldenburg. Gavinner. Evin. Rumer from the corner, Kolhoff to Schroeder, but because they catch it, 
Kastil. Sudek. There's the moon ball. It was close to score. Kladic blocked. Ball possession still to Oldenburg. Schröder. Edin. Harazin with the rebound. No foul, Motička. Cudek. Third team foul. Calls to Oldenburg. Forced by Cudek. Substitution for Team Oldenburg, Guido Nanninga. First time in the match. Sudek. Now he's with seven points. Evin. Nice pass to Gevinner. Gee, that was a huge air ball. Kastil is very grateful. Cudek. Missed. Fade away jump. Harazin. Nice cut. Missed, but there's Motička. Finishes it. Levin. Jetechtel. Pretend he was hurt. He was hurt, but not fast break. Two deck. Another two points. 66 51. 15 points different. Klarich couldn't score beyond the arc. And substitutions. Georgia Klaric gets some rest. Kastil, Motička, Cudek. Great defense, Rumer, easy basket. Bennett spray, first points. Kastil, who else? Jetechtel, Kastil, it's in. Come two and a half minutes. Evin. Gevinner. Spray to the corner. Nanninga, still good. Gavinner missed and Kastil with the rebound. Sudek, Motička without any hesitation. Evin. Spray couldn't score it under the ring. Motička, nobody picks him up. And there is a foul. The fourth one.
Substitution. Finn Timon Stulmeier is on the court. Spray. Wonderful basket. Sudek and out of bounds. Sudek wasn't very happy, as we all could see. Spre Nanninga almost. Unsportsman like fall. Called to two deck, I guess. Yes. Yeah. He was pretty frustrated the last time when he gave the ball to Rumer. He hit actually. And it was, I guess, expected that it's not the end. Hmm. Everybody can decide. So, two shots and then ball possession. Rumer, the first is perfect. Second, two. Three attempts and two is good. Two are good from it. And, and the timeout. After this match, ladies and gentlemen, the first semi-final, the bet is the final. Ritas Vilnius, the last year's bronze medalist versus the reigning champion, Igokea. This can be actually, I guess, the final regarding the performance of the teams what they presented us to the last uh, in the last three days but now it is just the first semi-final so one of them will play for the bronze and one for the gold Harazin the 72 55 last minute of the game spray Gewinner, Spre, Gewinner, for a triple, for a triple! Gewinner's first triple beyond the arc, 75-55. Motichka to... Varish, but it's blocked by Gewinner. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Varish. Barczak. Missed. So the final 
attack could have the Oldenburg from the corner. But now it's stealing the ball. One action, Harazin missed. Stumeyer, Römer blocked. Harazin, Römer. And this is the end of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, a 20 point win to Team Oldenburg after gaining the match. 75 55. This is the final score. Oh, and there's an injury at last by Spree. Oh. I hope there's nothing serious right there. There was a shout, but I fought because of the happiness, but something happened. I hope there's it's not a torn muscle or something in the leg. I hope there's nothing serious we'll see tomorrow but now as you can see the final score Opawa 55 all number 75 our next match is from half past six Ritas Vilnius last year's bronze bronze medalist versus the reigning champion Igor Kea waiting for that match and wait for you that time now it's a half half an hour pause and after Join us again here in front of the screens. Till then, all the best and see you at 6.30.